10 Terrifying Things Recovered from the Titanic Despite more than a century since the ill-fated voyage, the story of the Titanic and its passengers continues to captivate us. While the ship itself may be at the bottom of the ocean, the artifacts recovered from its wreckage continue to offer a haunting glimpse into the lives lost on that fateful night. April 1912 The world was forever changed when the unsinkable Titanic, a luxurious pinnacle of modern engineering, collided with an iceberg and sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The ship, which was built by the White Star Line, was hailed as the largest and most luxurious ship ever constructed. Boasted an array of amenities, including a swimming pool, gymnasium, and even a squash court, it was tagged as the unsinkable ship and meant to be a symbol of technological advancement and human ingenuity, a true marvel of its time. However, on the night of April 14, 1912, disaster struck and the Titanic began to take on water. Despite the crew's best efforts to keep the ship afloat, it ultimately sank, taking more than 1,500 lives with it. From eerie personal belongings to haunting reminders of the ship's opulence, join us as we explore 10 of the most terrifying things recovered from the Titanic. Number 10. Lifeboat Lantern Keys The Titanic wasn't equipped with ordinary light but with special lifeboat lanterns. These lanterns were used to signal for help and guide the lifeboats during the evacuation of the ship. Each of them was fitted with a key that could be used to turn the light on or off. For instance, Key A couldn't turn on or off Lantern B, and that contributed to their uniqueness. The keys were kept in a nearby cabinet or box and were meant to be easily accessible in an emergency. They were specifically used by a crew member named Samuel Hemming during the ship's tragic sinking to unlock a door that served as the entrance to where the lifeboat lanterns were. So, with the discovery of the lifeboat lantern keys, the explorers needed no further conviction that a treasure had been found. However, there is some debate among historians and explorers about the authenticity of the current circulation of the Titanic lifeboat lantern keys. Some experts believe that many of these keys were manufactured after the Titanic sinking and are not genuine artifacts from the ship. But whatever it is, a unique bunch of lantern keys was found on the Titanic, and that's a fact. Number 9. A third-class passenger's vest Imagine getting the opportunity to touch a king's garment. I bet you wouldn't want to let go. That's exactly how people felt when they discovered a vest in the remains of the wrecked Titanic. Though the vest was owned by William Henry Allen, a man considered a third-class passenger on the Titanic, it was still considered a treasure. Allen may not have been super influential during his lifetime, but his estate made millions in his death. Firstly, unlike the others who lost their lives in the Titanic disaster, Allen's body wasn't found to give him a befitting burial. His estate, which was only worth 1167 pounds was the only thing his wife benefited from. At first, it was important because that was the only remnant of him they could find after the disaster. But what later amazed people was the fact that a vest could be in ruins for over 72 years and yet look as good as new. Such a wonder. Number 8. 15 Carat Rose Gold Bracelet As the Titanic met its tragic fate, it took with it the hopes and dreams of many souls on board. But amidst the debris and wreckage lay an exquisite gold bracelet adorned with the name Amy and glistened with encrusted diamonds. The rose gold bracelet found in the Titanic was a remarkable piece of jewelry that was discovered during the excavation of the famous shipwreck. The bracelet was made of 15 karat rose gold and was also designed in the Art Nouveau style, which was popular in the early 20th century and is known for its elegant and flowing lines. The bracelet was discovered by a team of underwater archaeologists during an expedition to the Titanic wreck site in 1987. It was found in a leather bag and was still in remarkably good condition, given that it had been submerged in salt water for over 70 years. To date, the bracelet image is on display in several museums and exhibitions around the world, where it serves as a reminder of the blend of luxury and tragedy of the Titanic. Number 7. The Menu The menu on the Titanic was one of a kind with assorted meats, dishes, and desserts to make the journey worthwhile. The prices differed based on class. For instance, while the meal ticket of the first class was $70,000, that of the second class was $60,000, and that of third was between fifteen dollars and $40,000. To think that the menu still looked fresh and clean after discovery is something to be marveled at. Number 6. A Battered Pair of White Cotton Gloves These gloves, made of delicate white cotton, were found alongside other belongings of the passengers and crew of the Titanic, including jewelry, clothing, and other personal effects. It is believed that the gloves belonged to one of the passengers or crew members who were on board the ship. They may have been worn by a wealthy woman attending one of the many glamorous events that took place on the Titanic's voyage, such as a formal dinner or ball. But no one is so sure of that fact because they could have been part of the uniform of one of the crew members who worked on the ship. The gloves were in a state of disrepair. Of course, you should expect that since they spent over a century submerged in the cold, dark waters of the Atlantic Ocean. They were torn and tattered, with holes in the fingertips and the seams. Despite this damage, the gloves still had a certain delicate beauty 
a reminder of the elegance and sophistication of the era in which they were worn. Today, they serve as a tangible link to a moment in history that will never be forgotten. Number 5. A Heartfelt Letter to a Mother by a First Class Passenger It's one thing to write a letter to your loved one and another for it to arrive successfully. A heartfelt letter is one of the things that was seen during the exploration of the Titanic's remains. The letter was found folded inside the notebook and beautifully placed inside the pocket of a man named Oscar Hulverson. It was a letter written to his mother during the voyage with so much expectation. Little did he know that would be the last time he held a pen or thought of writing a letter to those he loved. In 2014, this Titanic artifact was sold for $166,000 at an auction. Number 4. An Old Decaying Violin Old Decaying Violin of the Titanic belonged to Wallace Hartley, the band leader of the ship's musicians. Hartley and his ensemble famously continued to play music as the Titanic sank, providing comfort and solace to passengers until the very end. The violin was recovered from the ocean 70 years after the disaster and was authenticated as Hartley's in 2006. Despite its poor condition, the violin remains a symbol of courage and humanity in the face of tragedy and is a unique symbol that offers a soothing tone that helps to bring people together in even the darkest of times. Number 3. A Frozen in Time Pocket Watch As reported, this pocket watch was owned by a man named John Chapman, who was also on the ship at the time of the incident. According to the reports, he was traveling with his wife, Lizzie. One of the unique things about this watch is that it tells the exact time the ship sank, which is 1.45 a.m. That's why people refer to it as a Frozen in Time Pocket Watch because it stopped at the exact time the ship encountered the accident. Number 2. A Unique Fur Coat Among the treasures that were lost in the tragedy was a unique fur coat. This coat was made of rare sable fur, which was considered one of the most precious furs at the time. The coat was also adorned with intricate lace and silk embroidery, making it a stunning piece of fashion. The coat's owner, a wealthy woman named Helen Churchill Candy, was the only one who survived the sinking and later wrote a book about her experience. As one of these pieces of clothing to survive the dangerous shipwreck, it was sold at auction for $165,000 in 2017. Number 1. The Iceberg Bell The Titanic didn't only have lanterns, it also had a bell. The Iceberg Bell on the Titanic was a warning system used to alert the crew of potential hazards in the ship's path. It was located on the bridge and was rung by the lookouts when they spotted an iceberg or other obstacle in the way. The bell was a safety feature as it allowed the crew to take action and avoid a collision. Unfortunately, on the night of April 14, 1912, the warning came too late, and the Titanic struck by an iceberg, leading to one of the most infamous maritime disasters in history. The iceberg bell remains a haunting reminder of the tragic events that unfolded on that fateful night. Some people even blame it for the incident. The tragedy of the Titanic was a devastating blow to the world, and it remains a symbol of the dangers of human hubris and the fragility of even the most advanced technology. We can only hope such never occurs again.